Guys, it is beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Ah, can you believe it is a nearly Christmas 2022? Where did this year go? I do not know. But I am braving Oxford Street on a Friday night. Bear with, bear with. But I'm outside the gorgeous Selfridges and I'm gonna show you all the decorations all the way down Oxford Street, uh, Regent Street, and over into uh, New Bond Street, all the bougie stores. So we're gonna have a lot of fun, feel really festive. Oh, actually Carnaby Street as well. We'll work around there. They have an interesting theme, shall we say. But there, let's get on with it. But the lights on Oxford Street, they are the same as they were last year, so you may recognise them. Um, this might be quite similar to last year's vlog, but Selfridges is looking absolutely stunning. There will be a different vlog where I show you the windows and all the treats inside, so stick around. I'm not totally sure if I'm calling this Vlogmas, by the way, but this is going to be my first video. I know it's still November, but into December I'll be doing multiple vlogs a week, so yeah, definitely make sure you're subscribed, but let me show you all of Oxford Street. Sneak peek at one Selfridges window. Wait, why are you is that meant up? to be a great Gravy. It looks like gold what did gravy. You say that last bit? <laughs> I can't believe how busy it is. This is absolutely crazy. I know you're probably thinking, well, yeah, it's Christmas, Hannah, but yeah, this is quite a few weeks <laughs> ahead. This is a bit more exciting, isn't it? We're just on South Moulton Street, which is right by Bond Street. Guys, it's so busy. I can't quite believe this. Again, these are the same lights that they had the last few years. I think actually these blue lights have been here for many years, but it looks so beautiful. Um, yeah, I think I'm just so surprised considering it's not December yet. So if you are coming up to London, be ready for the crowds. Look at that view. So South Moulton Street is uh, a fancy shopping street. Lots of wonderful fashion designer stores. Yes, oh, I like it. I like it with the flickery lights on the top. Very pretty. Also, I'm using my Sony camera, which I have not used probably for about two months because I keep vlogging on my iPhone, so you get to see my face in um, proper 4K. <laughs> and even a blue Christmas tree as well. So yes, you will see that when you're going along Oxy Street. Oh, and the Disney store looks really festive. I love it, but unfortunately, <laughs> this section isn't working. I did read that they were having some issues, but in the distance there, doesn't it look magical? Oh, John Lewis looking fab. They've got some trickle down lights in blue is it a christmas tree i think it's meant to be a christmas tree oxford street's a bit of a weird one if you were wondering that's the old uh, house of fraser building which has been converted into like a um like a shop and shop mall of some form like a shopping center within it or something like that i don't know if that's gonna work that's a bit better lots of different colorful christmas trees okay a bit more color i like it i like it last year i think they were like trickling down like icicles um, I probably should have watched last year's vlog actually, but it's quite nice, it's alright. And the colour theme seems to be that kind of deep uh, purple over there and yeah, that green. Jeez, look at the state of my hair, honestly. You can tell I've had a, a cycling helmet on. Um, but anyway, John Lewis, I have done a whole vlog. You see all the decorations. It's pretty epic, I must say so myself. So that will be in a couple of weeks' time. So, um, oh, very quick actually. If you are new to my channel, I'm not sure, you might be. Um, so I live in London and I like vlogging things in London as if you're hanging out with me and we're just going for a bit of a wander, usually shopping or at least looking around lots of different fashion or food stores so yeah um come and join is it vlogmas or just christmas videos in london i'm not sure but we're gonna have a festive time now if you've never been to oxford street um the shopping is a little bit mixed it's definitely changed over the years um probably not somewhere i would like say is the best place to shop in london but it's nice for a bit of a walk i think a lot of people um like to shop at places like westfield or shop online let's be honest um but yeah it's it's okay just be careful um so you know, this camera is actually strapped to my wrist, so just be careful with your belongings. You are in London, literally. This is strapped to me. <laughs> oh my gosh, this feels literally like the week before Christmas and it's not. Oh my gosh, everyone is out and shopping. I think it's about five o'clock just after on a Friday. Jingle them bells and frolic Oh by gosh, some stolly Eggnog, gin and tonic Make yuletide gay and jolly And I just zoomed in a little bit So you have got these screens on Regent Street every so often I think these used to be sponsored back in the day So they're still using the same lights, which is fine I'm sure a lot of people will know where I am So yes, that is the north side of uh, Regent Street You've got a few beautiful angels sparkling there in the background oh i love it right let me get out of the road ah. 
Right, let's go down here. <laughs> oh, it's so sparkly. Also, oh, no, you just helped a woman, well, stopped her from getting run over and she was so rude to me. She just looked at me like that. I'm like, all right, love, get run over, not my problem. Jeez, welcome to London. <laughs> These are my absolute fave in London. Would you look at that? Feels like an actual queue to take pictures, but the up lights on Regent Street it looks so good. It's such a beautiful street. If you have no interest in shopping along here, um, oh, what a sight. I really hope this comes out on camera because it's absolutely stunning. And like I said, they've been the same lights for quite a few years. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I drink till Rudolph reappears. A toast to him, that red nose dear. Jingle them bells and frolic, it's the best day of the year. Oh, and look at Liberty, how cute. I mean, it's a gorgeous building anyway, but they've got some amazing Christmas trees. And yes, there's loads and loads of um, places to eat and drink. We're just going to go along to Carnaby Street in a second. Oh, it's so sweet. I have got a separate uh, Christmas shop video coming for Liberty. Gosh, my hair is not behaving. Um, but what I found last year when I did any like shop videos, it was in the daytime or like first thing in the morning and the lights aren't on and you can't see in the window. So hence why I'm doing them separately. Oh, it's so festive. I quite like just plain Christmas trees with some warm lights on them. If you are into colorful uh, Christmas decorations, Carnaby Street, is the place for you my goodness would you look at that these are absolutely bonkers sorry if i'm a bit shaky i forgot how heavy this camera is wow now these lights every year they've obviously got quite a strong theme this year they're celebrating 25 years of the shopping district of carnaby street like the actual just street um and they've combined 14 different themes which is a lot <laughs> Which is a lot. <laughs> There's also a lot of drunk people here, but everyone has been at work and they're all going for beers after work. I don't blame them. Now there are some little lights that are usually here, so you might recognize them if you've been here before outside of the festive period. And one of the 14 <laughs> themes I know it was, uh, or is, Bohemian Rhapsody, is this just fantasy. Look up to the skies. But yeah, they haven't got the whole song written out. <laughs> Robins are quite cute, aren't they? Yeah, we've got some real contrasting themes. I think they've just got like a couple of like section uh, things across uh, for each one of them. I count the hours and minutes till the last week of December. For me, the Christmas spirits flow as early as September. It's the best of seasons. Come and raise your glass and sing. No need. For other reasons, glory to the newborn king. I did really like those Carnaby Street lights. I knew they'd be a bit bonkers, because they always are. It kind of felt like a group project. <laughs> you know, when everyone's got their theme, what they want to do, and then, yeah, on the day when you present, it doesn't really flow. But yeah, anyway, Carnaby Street, it's always a bit bonkers, isn't it? And I have actually just skipped Hamley's, which is just just there. Um, the famous toy store, but Watches of Switzerland, I definitely would have said this last time, has got a beautiful display. I don't know, I'm boring. I quite like the, the classic style. I keep waiting for the massive buses. They're kind of killing that aesthetic, but oh, okay. I think that's enough of this, right? Now, one of the reasons I actually decided to vlog um, the decorations last year. I remember my grandparents, they used to like buy tickets, like someone would organize like a mini bus and then at one point it was a massive coach. And every year, like they would come up and it would drive along Oxford Street, Regent Street, all around Knightsbridge and stuff. But this whole area, as you may have seen um, on the Oxford Street, but anyway, um, it's public transport and taxis only. So like you can't just come up and have a look at them unless you get yourself a Boris bike or something. Last bit, I promise. But I always adore the curved bit as it goes around to Piccadilly circus around the corner oh yes those up lights on Regent Street really do make a difference don't they and I've just popped along to the world famous Burlington Arcade which is very fancy but we haven't got any trees outside am I a little bit early sneak peek look at Ralph we'll come back in a second don't worry guys but last year this was uh, James Bond themed sometimes places do add more when you get into December so yes this this was filmed a week before you see it but I do like 
the gold. And I love that you have the windows at the top. It's really cool and it's got lots of like fancy um, uh, different shops, mainly menswear. Yeah, you've got like little jewellery stores, um, yeah, footwear. I cannot believe I'm putting a vlog out like this. I look so tired, honestly, guys. I am. It's been a rough week. We'll leave it at that. It's all good. It's Friday, but um, yes, I hope this is getting you in the festive, festive spirit. What I am going to do is I'll link in the description and at the end if I remember. Um, last year's Vlogmas, so you can come and have a look and I don't know, uh, maybe and see what things were like last year in London. I'm struggling a bit already guys, my gosh. I think I've kind of cycled a bit too much today and yeah, back to back meetings. But anyway, let me show you the really fancy stores and some of the lights I've noticed on on in some places so I will definitely kind of scoot around later on um, over the next couple of weeks to show you so you don't miss out. Oh look at Ralph, it looks so pretty absolutely stunning oh lights are on lights are off this is a new bond street and yeah i did see actually on tiktok quite a lot of people were saying the lights were meant to have come on already and they haven't for some reason there's always loads of cute places um in this area and in mayfair look at this, this is arcade on old bond street <laughs> you could just imagine what this was like back in the day and look at this window for this chocolate store wow I think I'm a bit boring. I quite like the kind of classic looking trees. And look at the garland. I mean, this little building is stunning anyway. I don't think I've ever vlogged this before. I love it. Also, I'm full of rubbish. These lights and everyone on, t on TikTok's full of rubbish. They're not broken. I'm like a couple of days too early, which it seems quite late for the lights to come on. I feel like Christmas is so early now. Like the Oxford Street lights and the Regent Street lights came on quite a while ago now so this is pretty late which doesn't really matter does it they are the same as last year so if you want to go check out that vlog um it will be the same and it'll be interesting to see what tiffany do hmm usually this goes up quite early but yeah david morris look at that wreath that's absolutely gorgeous all the pink and gold baubles but ralph is holding the fort at the moment and they have got little outdoor seating as you can see people are getting their coffee from the Ralph's coffee place and I'll have to come back to see what Cartier are gonna do because they are always incredibly extra. I know people are gonna complain that I'm doing this vlog a little bit early but honestly guys like with work oh that's a party vibe isn't it um with work with editing and wanting to do more than one vlog a week in uh, december like i have to start at some point so this yeah is when i'm gonna start doing it so yeah i hope you don't mind and it's always fun to window shop would you look at that oh my days look at louis vuitton that looks amazing look at all the trunks into the entrance i don't feel like they went all out last year so louis vuitton recently did a collab with lego I'm not sure if you heard about it pretty awesome so all the windows are lego hold on a minute even the trunks are lego are they lego or legos I'm not sure if that's just a different to american pronunciation but yes that's lego all the windows that's so cool but i think that i was gonna say the star quite literally of uh, the street at the moment anyway it's got to be uh dior look at that it's like a compass what does that say uh does anyone speak french what does that say <laughs> the one thing that i have been heavily heavily dm'd on uh over the last uh, couple of weeks is the questions around whether i'm going to show the dior kind of um overlay that is on the harrod store for christmas and uh, my answer is yes and that will be my next video next friday so are you subscribed come on people friday six o'clock um yeah so i know it's very cliche oh hannah she's doing another harrod's vlog she's so predictable um i will be doing more than one probably because i'm going to go yes next week um, will be my upload and uh, what else have I got? I've got afternoon tea planned there with my friends although I won't vlog too much when I'm with people I don't really like vlogging I want to be in the moment um, yeah so I definitely will pop there a couple of times I just popped up to Piccadilly uh, just outside the Ritz and the Wolseley and we're gonna head down and I'll just show you a couple of decorations because I don't think I've shown you this area before I do have to say Cafe Concerto I've walked past about three and every single one has been super festive so yeah well done them oh bin truck lighting very christmas in the aesthetic but yeah cafe concerto i always bang on about it it's such a good place okay it's not the fanciest place in the world but you can get like a massive slab of cake you can share it if you want you can get coffee and it's like proper chill and not like really expensive it's literally all the fancy uh watch and jewelry stores um oh no that one's broken they are cherubs so this just down the side quickly is jeremy 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 street why am i saying that wrong bit of a gentleman's place you know there's lots of uh nice um, men's suits and footwear stores yeah and it leads all the way up to Piccadilly but just wanted to show you these because 
They are very, very stunning. Look at them, the little cherubs. Are they cherubs or are they just angels? I'm not sure. Angels, they're angels, right? Love it. And just like that, I'm on the other end of Burlington Arcade. Um, oh, I can't not show you. I know I show this every Christmas, but the lottery, again, pronunciation, macarons. I always remember them, they're, not, they're macarons, not macaroons, because they have the top on them, macarons. <laughs> they have this crazy gold store. They have a lot of places now, actually. Um, if you saw my Battersea Power Station vlog, which is pretty dick, because it got quite a lot of views, um, that had a pop-up, um, or I think it was permanent, actually, a laundry store. And then they do have some little seats as well. And there was a champagne bar up there, a Bollinger. Oh, go on then, I'll show you the prices. Everyone always wants to know the prices. So, yeah, if you're looking for, like, a coffee um, and maybe a little macaron, you can um, grab one here. Actually, no one cares about that. They want to know how much the cakes are. So they've got proper cakes, although there's not many, obviously, left at the end of the day. You can see that they are ooh, quite expensive. I really should have watched my vlog last year, but they £2.50 each? I don't know, but my absolute favourite is actually vanilla. I love the vanilla ones. They're so good. But yes, just yes to all of them, but it's a really good thing. If you want to get someone like a little gift, um, yeah, you get a little box. I think it's like minimum, I think it's like six or something like that. Gosh, don't quote me, but you can just ask and the box is included in the price. It's not an ad. I wish it was, but yeah. How cute is that? I know it doesn't make for an exciting vlog, but I don't know, this Christmas. I mean, it hasn't really started, does it? Let's be honest. I feel really unbothered about like buying stuff, which I know is like the worst thing for, <laughs> for retailers. I don't know, I kind of want to spend my money on like doing stuff and experiences, a bit of a shift in my mindset. I have enough things and everything I want is like, silly money and I'm not gonna buy it but one place I am gonna go shopping is Fort Lauderdale Mason oh my gosh would you look at that uh, wow and I've just had a thought whenever I show you Fort Lauderdale Mason you can never really see the windows can you because I come in the daytime so I'm gonna be a bit cheeky and I'm gonna film the windows now but you will see them in a couple weeks time I don't know whenever I go to Fort Lauderdale Mason I will try and remember not to delete um, everything off this SD card I will insert it so yeah coming to my channel soon but I'm gonna love and leave you um, yeah as you can see I'm kind of tired and I need to cycle home um, so yes um, thank you for making it this far in the video obviously didn't see quite as many lights as I thought but you know what once you've seen a few twinkly lights you've kind of seen them all I'm a bit over it now so I'm gonna go home and get some dinner but yes um, please do subscribe like this video give it a thumbs up and come and say hi over on Instagram I do try with Instagram but I must admit it's quite hard I find to vlog and take pictures and actually like enjoy the present moment so I do my best I'm definitely an Instagram story person I've mentioned that before um, but yes Merry Christmas to you Merry Christmas is it too early I don't know I'm gonna say it anyway anyway I'm rambling I will see you next Friday at 6 p.m. bye guys